As a content creator and photographer, I'm constantly in the need for more data storage and memory. Things like hard drives, SSDs, micro SD cards, and SD cards are all needed. You know, when it comes to hard drives and SSDs, prices really have started to come down over the years and you do get a lot more data storage for your money and it seems like it's getting better all the time. Also, there's a lot of good brands out there so you can really have the option to look around, find a good deal and get the best bang for your buck. Unfortunately, with SD cards, it's not really the same story. You kind of have two choices. One is I can tear out my left arm and give it to SanDisk to get old reliable, a good high performing uh, SD card that I know is gonna work or I can save a few bucks and get a good deal on a no name, no brand memory card. And uh, when I lose my photos and my videos because the card failed, I can take my left arm again and beat myself with it for making a terrible decision, right? Either way, I lose my left arm and well, I like my left arm, we go way back. So I don't like those options. After struggling with this reality for quite some time, I realized that I just have to get some more SD cards. The reality of it is, is I have two cameras now, I'm shooting a lot more content and I'm shooting redundant on both cameras. The current crop of SDs that I have are just not gonna cut it. So I started to look around and in comes ProGrade Digital. I discovered ProGrade Digital as I was browsing through the BNH photo app. Don't judge me, we all like the window shop, right? Anyway, as I was browsing through, I discovered the company and I realized you can get a SanDisk 128 gig V90 class speed card for $200, or you can get two ProGrade Digital cards in a bundle pack for 230 with the same speed rating, the same class rating, and the same capacity. Now that just sounded too good to be true. I mean, there's two options here, right? One is it is a complete piece of junk, or two, it's a miracle. Naturally, I did what any good detective would do. I scrolled Instagram and Twitter for hours looking at pointless videos and other junk. And then finally, I got my head out of my ass and decided to give Program Digital a try by ordering a two pack. All right, so the first thing I wanted to do when I got the card was to do a speed test. Like I said, I already have a SanDisk card. I can go ahead and run a speed test on that and compare it to that of the Program Digital card. Yes, speed is everything. I mean, come on, you guys. I race cars. I ride motorcycles, I'm all about speed, right? Just ask my wife. Wait, that's not a good thing. Let's talk about memory cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and put both memory cards into my card reader. It is a third party card reader, so there's no funny business. It's not branded to, to help either brand out. It's actually made by uh, Otherworld Computing. So we're gonna run both cards and I'm gonna do two separate tests with the Blackmagic spe uh, disk speed test. One is gonna be a one gig stress test and then I'm gonna do a five gig stress test. I'm gonna do two tests of each size and then I'm gonna take an average for both the read and the write for the one gig test and the five gig test and then compare the results. All right, so as we take a glance at the results here, if you look at the SanDisk card, the first one gig test resulted in a write of 213.7 and a read of 256.4. Uh, the second test was a 199.4 write and a 249.2 read. If we jump over to the ProGrade digital card, uh, test one is gonna be 189.2 write, 260.1 read, and then test two for one gig is gonna be 217.9 write and 259.7. And then if you look at the test averages, uh, for read, you've got 252.8 on the SanDisk versus 259.9 on the ProGrade. So the ProGrade actually beats the SanDisk by seven megabytes per second. And then on the right, you've got 206.5 for the SanDisk average and 203.5 on the ProGrade. So the SanDisk wins by three. So neither difference, read or write, is massive or anything to write home about, which tells you that both cards are, are basically equal in performance. Now, if I flip over to the five gig test, uh, the SanDisk is gonna have a 197.7 on the right and then two 246 on the read for the first test. On the second test, we're looking at 217.5 and 248.9. Jumping over to ProGrade, the first test resulted in 212.7 for write, 264.0 for read, and then the second test on the five gig is gonna be 218.6 and then 259.8. If you look at the averages, the average read for SanDisk is 247 versus ProGrade's 261.9. That's actually a pretty decent difference on the five gig test. And then if you look at the write test, you're looking at 207.6 average for the SanDisk versus 215.6 average on the ProGrade. So ProGrade actually beats the SanDisk in both categories when it comes to the five gig stress test, which to me is more important because I think video files are typically larger. So it actually does show you quite a bit of improvement over the SanDisk. Now, again, is it night and day difference? Probably not, but it does show you that the ProGrade card is just as good, if not slightly better than the SanDisk card for about half the money. So that's a pretty big difference. So naturally, these were not the results I expected to see. I fully expected 
that SanDisk was gonna blow ProGrade Digital out of the water. I mean, when the, when the price is about $100 more per card, right? When you're talking about uh, $200 for one card or $230 for two, I expect the SanDisk to be a ton faster, but as you guys can see, that's not the case. So with speed being solved, let's talk about reliability. Well, the truth is I've only had these cards for about two months, so I can't speak on reliability fully, but here's what I can say. I've seen a ton of reviews out there that say that reliability is there, and in the two months that I've had it, I've actually done over um, seven writes to these cards already, and I'm talking about full-on 128 gigs written over seven times, and I've had literally no issues, I've had no slowdowns, I've had no drop frames, no skipping, no anything. It just works just like my SanDisk card does, so I think the reliability is gonna be there like I expect it to be. And to be quite honest, I was so impressed with how fast the cards were and what you get for your money that I actually went out and ordered four more cards just to get my full setup going. And now I'm actually shooting exclusively with ProGrade Digital because you get the best bang for your buck. And I even ordered micro SD cards for my upcoming setup with my GoPro and my Insta360. So long story short, if you don't wanna sacrifice speed, quality, or reliability, and you wanna get a really good value for your money, check out the ProGrade Digital cards and you'll be very happy. In fact, if you order some, make sure you tell them Demir sent you because, well, actually they don't even know who I am, so it makes, makes no difference. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for stopping by and checking it out. And honestly, if you've made it this far, go ahead and smack that like button for me and follow that up by smacking the subscribe button. And then maybe go get some ice because I just told you to smack your computer screen twice, which probably hurt a little bit and maybe you broke your screen, so that might have been a bad idea. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great night and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>